Yo, hey, what up, family? What up, God's people? Welcome back to another day with Bible Time with the J Squad and Fam. I'm Daddy, as y'all know, and I'm just on my lunch break. Thank God. Thank Jesus. Thank the heavens. Thank God for my job. I am so happy that I found a comfortable place to be, a comfortable place to work from the comfort of my own home where I can not only provide for my family but also be here with my family and that's what life's all about you know is just being with your family and enjoying life I mean we all have our troubles and tribulations but dang man I mean it's so good to be at home and working from home I mean that's what I've been doing for three plus years and uh, I'm glad that I've got a, a work at home job um, to anybody out there looking for work from home jobs they're everywhere and as long as you have the work ethic and you can you know prioritize yourself you can have a job man if, if you're not working go online go on indeed look for remote jobs you can get a job almost anywhere these days working from home um, I'm gonna pick up in Exodus 29 like I was supposed to the other day before J J debit J2 decided to take over the vlog um, that was a beautiful thing. Like I said, I'm on my lunch break right now. Um, jamming out to some kingdom music. Kingdom music all the way. Got ASAP Preach, uh, Nikki Gracious. We got Brian T. Brian T is a heck of a guy, man. If you guys ain't following him on YouTube, I suggest you check him out. I just watched a video the other day about, you know, can Christians drink alcohol? Uh, yeah, Christians do drink alcohol. I'm fortunate enough that God put it in my heart and God changed my taste buds and I've been alcohol free for a little over four years now. I used to be a hardcore everyday alcoholic and now I am free from that uh, prison, you know what I mean? Um, so thank God for that. Uh, God's grace has been unleashed upon me in so many different ways. So I'm here to spread the word of God to anybody and anybody who chooses to listen. I'm here to help people go through some of the troubles that I've been through. I'm here to help kingdom men rise. Um, that's something we're doing in church is kingdom men rising. And we got to spread the love of God and help other people get on their own two feet so that they can, they can be godly, you know, walk with God, walk with Jesus, man. It's, 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 a lifestyle and all you have to do is ask God to you know accept God into your heart and believe and have faith and and just every morning like I say I ask God to you know I ask God or I invite God to follow me and walk with me and everything that I do speak with me and all that I speak and think with me and all that I think and the presence of God, I, I just love feeling the presence of God. That's why I love spending time reading the book, reading the Holy Bible, the new, I'm, I'm in the new King James Version, um, Old Testament, which was my favorite so far. But then again, this is my first time ever reading the Bible. So um, I just like to thank everybody who watches these videos, who shares these videos, who comments on these videos. I'm almost up to that 50 subscribers so I can go live and spread the love of God in a live feed instead of waiting two days for my videos to upload because I'm still old school doing it on my cellular device. Um, but I love it. I love being able to hang out with you guys. Uh, I love reading your comments. I love just seeing the, the word of God be spread. I'm only one man. I can only do so much. But like I said before in the past, I know that God told me to pick up my Bible and share it with the world, and I'm, I'm only one man, so I can only do so much, but I'm doing the best that I can. Amen? Amen. Um, so I'm going to make this one quicker because the videos upload faster, and I can do more, uh, more videos more often, and I can't wait to get to that live status so that I can you know, see the comments coming in as I'm you know, reading the book of God, reading the word of God. Um, so, once again, I want to send a shout out to Officer Tatum for the sick gear that he always sends me. Um, he doesn't send it for free, obviously, I pay for it. I'd love to promote him and work for him, but he don't even know my name. Um, and then uh, Brian T, Nikki Gracious, ASAP Preach, Rare of Breed, all the Kingdom Music people, um, they're 
motivation and they keep me sane. Music feeds my soul and if I'm listening to godly music, I tend to be in a better mood. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm going to pray real quick and we're going to jump into the book and read the word of God and get through Exodus 29 and we'll leave off where we leave off. Amen. Amen. All right. So dear God, our father in heaven, Lord Jesus, thank you so very much, God, for shedding your grace upon this land and please continue to shed your grace upon this land. Lord, we need we need competent men in office. We need peace across the nations. We need peace across our land. We need peace in our country. Dear God, please help provide a sense of peace and and help us to be become more vigilant and also more patient with our surroundings and our fellow man and our fellow women. Thank you, God, for watching over us as we travel through this life and please help pick up the people who have fallen and bless them with stability and and financial success. And Lord God, thank you so much for dying for sending your son to die on the cross for our sins God um, we are a sinful people and you know that you gave us free will and some of us choose to have the free will in the way that we desire and some of us choose to have free will and follow you God and try to be the best that we can be Lord and I just thank you so much for surrounding me personally with positive influential people who have a, a big impact on my life and my mindset and I pray others can find that as well, Lord. I, I thank you, Lord God, for medicine, um, even conventional medicine, which we do not like. But I, I thank you, God, for functional medicine. And I please pray that you would put your hand on my wife. Right now, she's got the flu or she's sick in some sense. And I just pray that you would bless her so that she could feel healthy and watch over her back. Please watch over my children while they're in their schools here. And please watch over other people's children and keep violence out of our schools. The elections are coming up, you know, political nonsense, but we're starting to see shootings on TV. And I, I really feel that's directly related to the, to the midterms and the elections that are coming up. So please, God, help keep violence out of our schools. Please prevent people from uh, provoking others into causing violence in our schools and, and at our places of work. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for sending Pastor Doug and Pastor Teresa and, and LP and Marcus and Ella and all them up to where we're at from, from Texas so that they could be here to bless us with their presence and help us follow the word, Lord God. And thank you, Lord, for good, great friends like Greg and Aaron and Amelia and and Rudy and Rudy Jr. and Giovanni and and uh, Rachel and and her husband Andrew and please just watch over Rachel and help her heal her knee quickly Lord God thank you for friends like Jay and please bless Jay and watch over him as he goes through his trials and tribulations and please God watch over Teddy and put your hand upon him Lord God he needs you so much right now our buddy TK uh, Teddy he's in a bad spot he's you know he's in a bad spot Lord God so please just watch over him and his son and and watch over my family Lord God please bless everybody who watches these videos in whatever capacity you choose to bless them in and please watch over you know our military and our police and our teachers and just keep everybody safe across this land Lord God in the name of Jesus, I ask you this in the name of God, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Please, Lord God, watch over us, Lord. And please put your presence across this land. And please put your presence inside each and every one of our households, Jesus. And please put your presence inside my household, Jesus. In the name of God, our Father in heaven, thank you so much for letting me be a vessel to work for you and, and be, a, be a child in the army of God, Lord. In the name of God, amen, amen. Yeah, so there it goes, 10 minutes already, baby. So let me just pick up right here, and then uh, I'm going to probably just read a chapter or two, and then I'll see y'all on the next one, on the flip side. Boom, 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 boom. Ha. Got Tiger Lily just chilling with me. What's up, baby Tiger? What's up, Tiger Lily? All right, y'all. So like I said, I'm picking up in Exodus. 29, New King James Version, Old Testament, Holy Bible. 
So from where I left off a couple days ago. And this is what you shall do to them, to hollow them for ministering to me as priest. Take one young bull and two rams without blemish, and unleavened bread, unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil. You shall make them of wheat flour. You shall put them in one basket, and bring them in, one, in the basket with the bull and the two rams. And Aaron and his sons you shall bring to the door of the tabernacle to meet of meeting, and you shall wash them with water. Then you shall take the garments, put a tunic on Aaron, and the robe of the ephod, the ephod and the breastplate, and gird him with the intricate with the intricately woven band of the ephod. You shall put the turban on his head, and put the holy crown on his, on the turban. And you shall take the anointing oil, pour it on his head, and anoint him. Then you shall bring his sons, and put tunics on them. And you shall gird them with sashes, Aaron and his sons, and put the hats on them. The priesthood shall be theirs for a perpetual statue. You, so you shall consecrate Aaron and his sons. You shall also have the bull brought before the tabernacle of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall put their hands on the head of the bull. Then you shall kill the bull before the Lord by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. You shall take some of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, and pour all the blood beside the base of the altar. And you shall take all the fat that covers the entrails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and burn them on the altar. But the flesh of the bull, with its skin and its official, or its offal, <laughs> my bad. But the flesh of the bull, with its skin and its offal, you shall burn with fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. You shall also take one ram, and Aaron and his son shall put their hands on the head of the ram, and you should, shall kill the ram, and you shall take its blood and sprinkle it all around the altar. Then you shall cut the rams in. Then you shall cut the ram into pieces, wash its entrails and its legs, and put them with its pieces and with its head. And you shall burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord. It is a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. You shall also take the other ram, and Aaron and his son shall put their hands on the head of the ram. Then you shall kill the ram, and take some of its blood, and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron, and on the tip of the right ear of his sons, and on the thumb of their right hand, and on the big toe of their right foot, and sprinkle the blood all around the altar. And you shall take some of the blood that is on the altar, and some of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it on Aaron, and on his garments, on his son on his sons and on the garments of his sons with him. And he and his garments shall be hallowed, and his sons and his sons' garments with him. Also you shall take the fat of the ram, the fat tail, the fat of the cover, the fat that covers the entrails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, the two kidneys and the fat on them, the right thigh, for it is a ram of consecration. One loaf of bread, one cake made with oil, and one wafer from the basket of the unleavened bread that is before the Lord. And you shall put all these in the hands of Aaron and in the hands of his sons, and you shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. You shall receive them back from their hands and burn them on the altar as a burnt offering, as a sweet aroma before the Lord. It is an offering made by fire to the Lord. Then you shall take the breast of the ram of Aaron's consecration and wave it as a wave offering before the Lord, and it shall be your portion. And from the ram of the consecration you shall consecrate the breast of the wave offering which is waved, and the thigh of the heave offering which is raised, of that which is for Aaron, and of that which is for his sons. It shall be from the children of Israel for Aaron and his sons by a statute forever. For it is a heave offering, it shall be a heave offering from the children of Israel, from the sacrifices of their peace offerings, that is, their heave offering to the Lord. And the holy garments of Aaron shall be his sons after him, to be anointed in them, and to be consecrated in them. 
That son who becomes priest in his place shall put them on for seven days when he enters the tabernacle of meeting to minister in the holy place. And you shall take the ram of the consecration and boil its flesh in the holy place. Then Aaron and his sons shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is in the basket by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. They shall eat those things with which the anointment was made to consecrate and to sanctify them. But an outsider shall not eat them because they are holy. And if any of the flesh of the consecration offerings or of the bread remains until the morning, then you shall burn the remainder with fire. It shall not be eaten because it is holy. Thus you shall do to Aaron and his sons according to all that I have commanded you. Seven days you shall consecrate them, and you shall offer a bull every day as a sin offering for anointment. You shall cleanse the altar when you make anointment for it, and you shall anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days you shall make anointment for the altar and sanctify it, and the altar shall be the mo- shall be most holy. Whatever touches the altar must be holy. Now this is what you shall offer on the altar. Two lambs of the first year, day by day continually. One lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. With the, lamb, with the one lamb shall be one-tenth of an ephah. With the one lamb shall be one-tenth of an ephah of flour mixed with one-fourth of a hin of pressed oil and one-fourth of a hin of wine as a drink offering. And the other lamb you shall offer at twilight, and you shall offer it with and you shall offer with it the grain offering and the drink offering, as in the morning for a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. This shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations at the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord, where I will meet you to speak with you. And there I will meet you with the children of Israel, and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. So I will consecrate the tabernacle of meeting and the altar. I will also consecrate both Aaron and his sons to minister to me as priests. I will dwell among the children of Israel and will be their God. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them up out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. You shall make an altar to burn incense on. You shall make it of acacia wood. A cubit shall be its length, and a cubit its width. It shall be square, and two cubits shall be its height. Its horns shall be of one piece with it. And you shall overlay its top, its sides, all around, and its horns with pure gold, and you shall make for it a molding of gold all around. Two gold rings you shall make for it under the molding on both its sides. You shall place them on its two sides, and they will be holders for the poles with which to bear it. You shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, and you shall put it before the veil that is before the ark of the testimony before the mercy seat that is over the testimony where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn burn on it sweet incense every morning when he tends the lamps, he shall burn incense on it. And when Aaron lights the lamps at twilight, he shall burn incense on it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. You You shall not offer strange incense on it, or a burnt offering, or a grain offering, nor shall you pour a drink offering on it. And Aaron shall make anointment upon its horns once a year with the blood of the sin offering of anointment. Once a year he shall make anointment upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, When you take the census of the children of Israel for their number, then every man shall give a ransom for himself to the Lord. When you number them, that there may be no plague among them when you number them. This is what everyone among those who are numbered shall give. Half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty garaz. The half shekel shall be an offering to the Lord. Everyone included among those who are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering to the Lord. The rich shall not give more than... The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than a half a shekel, when you give an offering to the Lord to make anointment for yourselves. 
And you shall take the anointment money of all the children of Israel, and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord, to make anointment for yourselves. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, You shall also make a laver of bronze, with its base also of bronze for washing. You shall put it between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet in the water from it. When they go into the tabernacle of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister, to burn an offering made by fire to the Lord, they shall wash their water, lest they die. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, lest they die, and it shall be a statute forever to them, to him and his descendants throughout their generations. Moreover, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Also, take for yourselves quality spices, five hundred shekels of liquid myrrh, half as much sweet, half as much sweet-smelling cinnamon, two hundred and fifty shekels, two hundred and fifty shekels of sweet-smelling cane, five hundred shekels of cassia, according to the shekel of sanctuary, and a hin of olive oil. And you shall make from these a holy anointing oil, an anointment compounded according to the art of the perf perf perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. With it you shall anoint the tabernacle of meeting and the ark of the testimony, the table and all of its utensils, the lampstand and its utensils, and the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all the utensils and the laver and its base. You shall consecrate them that they may be the most holy. Whatever touches them must be holy. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister to me as priests. And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on man's flesh, nor shall you make any other like it. According to its composition it is holy, and it shall be holy to you. Whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it on, its, on an outsider, shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord said to Moses, Take sweet spices, stacked, and ancha, and galbanum, and pure frankincense with these sweet spices. There shall be equal amounts of each. You shall make of these an incense, a compound according to the art of the perfumer, salted, pure, and holy. And you shall beat some of it very fine, and put some of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of meeting, where I meet with you. It shall be most holy to you. But as for the incense which you shall make, you shall not make any for yourselves according to its composition. It shall be to you holy for the Lord. Whomever makes any like it to smell it, he shall be cut off from his people. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to design artistic works to work in gold and silver in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. And I indeed, I, have appointed him with Aholiab, the son of Ashmach, of the tribe of Dan. And I have put wisdom in the hearts of all the gifted artisans, artisans, that they may make all that I have commanded you, the tabernacle of meeting, the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is on it, and all the furniture of the tabernacle, the table and its utensils, the pure gold lampstand with all its utensils, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, and the laver and its base, the garments of ministry, the holy garments for Aaron the priest and the garments of his sons to minister as priests, and the anointing oil and sweet incense for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded you they shall do. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbaths you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore it is you shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. 
For whoever does any work on it, that person shall be cut off from among its people. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And when he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two tablets of testimony, tablets of stone, written with the finger of God. Oh man, such a beautiful, beautiful man. God bless you guys. God bless everybody. Thanks for spending some time with Bible Time with the J Squad and fam. I will pick up on chapter 32 here sometime soon. I'm working a ton. I love my name. God bless everybody. God bless our world. God bless you and your families. God bless our police and our military. And please pray for the office of the presidency. In the name of our Father, in the name of God, Jesus of Nazareth, in the name of all that is holy. Amen. Amen.